Today I'm going to do a second look at my E-Fly Cherokee 1.3 meter RSI airplane. And among all the RSI airplanes I've actually owned, I think this is one of the uh, absolutely you know, nicest looking and when it comes to how it flies and the features. Um, I've actually come to a few conclusions when it comes to myself and I I, if, if I want to purchase an RC airplane, and the, the RC airplanes which I enjoy the most is actually the ones that are scale looking. So there are, you know, like just made up planes like the Timber series from uh, E-Flight for instance. And I honestly really don't uh, appreciate them as much as the, the scale looking RC airplanes. This is one of my favorites, it's really featured with uh, with flaps, with the navigation lights, and this really nice uh, dampened front nose wheel. Um, but I've also put it on myself to actually to upgrade the electronics inside my planes to uh, basically have full telemetry. So I want to have you know battery readout on my uh, transmitter. Uh, and this one, when I purchased this one, that's that's did it actually come with an Spectrum AR6. 36 receiver and, and no smart features whatsoever except it does feature of course AS3X and SAFE. So what I did, I had a bunch of uh, Spectrum receivers already at hand so I actually put in a Spectrum AR637T receiver and I also replaced the uh, speed controller so inside this one is actually an AVN45 amp. And when I, I did it, I did discover that it was a little bit difficult to actually do this, um, the swap of the ESC because uh, I had to re remove everything, uh, so the prop, the uh, the front part of the cowl, uh, and it was really tight inside. So I managed to to remove the old speed controller and uh, using a few tools actually to connect the connector inside because. Uh, one disadvantage of the Avian um, speed controller, they are they have really short cables. So both the motor cables and the battery cable, they are uh, really short. So the only long cable is actually the, the servo cable that goes to the receiver. Uh, so it was, it was a little bit <laughs> difficult to actually do it, but uh, eventually uh, it went fine actually. So now I have uh, you know the uh, full features of the AS3X of course, the safe. Um, and this um, AR637T uh, does actually feature full telemetry, so I have the, everything from the ESC then also. Um, so I mean, just a, a, a great feature to add, to add to this one as I really enjoy it and like it. Um, I also discovered a few things that I really didn't um, discover at first, uh, on the first look I had. Uh, and it's very difficult to see, but uh, there are actually carbon fiber rods going all the way uh, from the motor mount, almost all the back, uh, like in, in over, like over here somewhere. There are two carbon fiber rods, so so this the whole the whole fuselage is actually reinforced by carbon fiber rods, um, and having you know flown uh, uh, quite a bit of many RC airplanes. Uh, when you do crash, and of course you do crash sometimes, um, you, you might you know, experience the, uh, the fuse just breaking clean off. And to have uh, especially pre-installed carbon fiber rods, like on this one, and also my E-Flight Clipping Cub does also come with the carbon fiber rods. I think it's just a great feature because it, it means that the uh, the fuse will actually last much longer and especially when it goes all the way from the motor mount and, and way back. So I mean it was just a really nice one. Uh, I did also did another electronic modification so sadly how many E-Flight RC airplanes and many uh, other RC airplanes as well uh, uh, the servers are only plastic gear servers and I don't know, uh, I have actually ripped quite a few plastic um, geared servos uh, because the nose wheel, when you actually have, when you land on grass and you have a little bit of rough landing, it's so easy to have the nose wheel just you know, bending a little bit too much in, a, in, a, in an odd angle and you just rip the, the plastic gear out. So I did actually also replace the, uh, the servo for the, uh, for the rudder and the nose wheel to a, a metal gear servo. 
so just uh, to be you know to be safe that it that ho hopefully will last a little bit longer so I think Metal Gear servers are really what, what should be installed in every RC airplane. Uh, but I mean, uh, these modifications, um, I hope it will you know, work fine. So let's go out and do flight on this modified E-Flight lovely Cherokee then. So it's a nice day for the Cherokee to um, make another flight. My EC alarm is actually warning me. I don't think I have the battery fully charged. So there is a bit of wind today. It comes and goes. This E-Fly Cherokee flies fantastic. It's so able with a really wide flight envelope, everything from slow flying to speedy flying on forest to just, you know, nicely controlled aerobatics. Yeah, I think it looks much better in the air than it looks in, in the, when you have it on, on the ground. With the... Uh, Red the wing tips, and then over all the white and red colors look really, really fantastic. And it does feature LED lights, but uh, during daylight uh, they're not really visible. So this here key is. More or less exactly what I want in an RC airplane. It um, has the ability to do almost anything. It looks nicely in a scale manner. It uh, can take off on grass quite easily. And it lands really nice also. You can compare this Cherokee to the Mole from E-Flight. I think they are equally fun to fly. Of course they look different and they are... One is a high wing plane and this is a low wing plane. But they are almost equally great in how they fly. And in general I think the E-Flight RC airplanes, they are just fantastic. Easy to assemble. Uh, they are, you know well controlled just a great value with the in the bnf version as well but on this one i have replaced the receiver and the speed controller so i have uh, everything from forward programming to full telemetry And I know I'm not flying in a scale manner, but I just can't help it. I want to have an RC airplane that can do everything. So everything from flying docile at scale flying to go speedy and aerobatic and sporty in the sky. So uh, that's what this Cherokee is all about. You can pick and choose 3S, 4S, 2200, 3200. It takes it all. So landing flaps are deployed.
you can slow this one down really nice to make a good approach. So I'm actually just circling here to to reduce altitude. And let's get it down then. Just uh, push it down a bit. And get it down. Yeah, nice landing. So the EC alarm is actually warning me that the battery is uh, empty. So uh, let's also take a look at this Cherokee. It's just a lovely flying RC airplane, this one. <laughs> 